Real quickly, I've been away from my setup all day today, so I haven't had a chance to talk about the Halo Infinite campaign, which released today. But I did notice a lot of people watching my older video on how to preload Halo Infinite, and all that was talking about was the multiplayer at the time. And I just want to clarify exactly how the campaign is incorporated into the game and how you can get it. Halo Infinite is free. The multiplayer is free to play, so that means even people without Game Pass can play this game for free. Now, if you have Game Pass on either PC or Xbox, whichever Xbox you have, you can go to Game Pass, and the first thing you're going to be greeted with here, uh, today at least, is all of the Halo Infinite stuff. You're going to get Play Day 1 with Xbox Game Pass, uh, the Chief Returns, you got the multiplayer here, and a dynamic theme, uh, rifle skin, and yeah, the whole top layer of Game Pass is literally Halo, Halo, more Halo. Click on here, and then you can download it. I already have it installed, obviously, but you will see here in this bundle, it says Halo Infinite campaign now after you download whatever it is you're downloading for you guys it might look different because it might download everything as a whole since i already had the multiplayer downloaded downloaded it's not like i said downloaded it i'm just gonna go ahead and open the game in here you're gonna go to campaign and you're going to download it right here it says campaign not installed you're gonna check that one basically the multiplayer is 18 gigs and the campaign is also 18 gigs or 18 and some change and together it's 36 gigabytes so i'm going to go ahead and apply that's actually pretty good for uh multiplayer and campaign both combined the size of this update is around 18.2 gigs uh update now it's going to be like a pause here and then it should start updating and there you have a download bar now we just wait till the 18 gigs are done and then we can start playing the campaign if for some reason you don't want the campaign installed or you don't want the multiplayer or vice versa, you only want one of them, you can go ahead and uninstall one of those. So you're going to press this button right here, then you're going to go to manage game and add-ons, and then you're going to press on this, let that load up. And here you can actually pick what you want to download. So the base game is 18.5 gigs and the campaign is 18.2. You can check it and then just apply those settings just thought that might be some useful information for anyone that doesn't want both parts of the game installed and is trying to save some space hopefully that clarifies a little bit where the downloads are specifically and where to find them how to download them if you were confused i hope this helped you and i think that's pretty much it for this video i'm just gonna wait for this download and probably play for a while i don't know if i'll post any gameplay i might make a video showing how it runs and how it looks on xbox series s since it is the more underpowered console and a lot of people are curious to know what that looks like so look out for that but other than that i think i'm just going to be playing some multiplayer in halo infinite i'm trying to rank up and ranked and i might try the new warzone map and make a video on that as well so i don't know just stick around thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next one